Hello and welcome to another edition of Light at Speed with remote controlled lighting and precision lighting. This video is also a series of videos in which I talk about different lighting control methods and I'm going to try and clear up the misunderstandings between them. In this video, we will be discussing 0 to 10 and 1 to 10 volt dimming systems. 0 to 10 and 1 to 10 volt dimming are analog lighting control protocols where a voltage level sets the dimming level. Analog means that the voltage signal between a dimmer and a driver or power supply is constant, can be continuously varied, and doesn't carry any digital data. Digital systems usually communicate using pulses of on and offs or ones and zeros to send that message. In 0 to 10 or 1 to 10 volt, the dimmer sets a voltage of up to 10 volts and continuously holds it there to maintain the level. When a driver or power supply sees 10 volts, the lamp output will be 100%. And if it sees a voltage that's lower, the output will be lower. If we take a look at this graph showing dimming level as a percentage against signal voltage level, we see that any voltage above 9.1 volts causes the lamp to be outputting 100%, and anything below 1.5 causes the lamp to be at its lowest level. For 0 to 10 volt systems, anything below 0.5 volts will turn the lamp off. Although 0 to 10 and 1 to 10 volt dimmers are similar, they do have differences which we can understand. The key difference though between the two is that in 0 to 10 volt signals, the dimmer needs to supply the voltage level to dim the driver, which often means that the dimmers need to be powered themselves to create the voltage. The lamp can also be completely switched off using only the dimming signal. 1 to 10 volt signals do not require the dimmer to be powered as the driver provides the voltage, but most 1 to 10 volt drivers will not turn the lamp off completely and instead rely on the power to its driver being cut. This is done by a relay or a switch inside the dimmer. Some drivers have compatibility modes which enable a lamp off state without it. With all analog dimming systems, each dimming circuit requires its own dimming cables to be run between drivers and dimmers. This means that 0 to 10 volt or 1 to 10 volt dimming is best suited for simple installations. For example, you cannot address groups of drivers or dim drivers differently if they're connected together. Because no intelligent data can be sent with a dimming signal voltage, there's no way of controlling colour tuning fittings or colour fittings with red, green and blue LEDs. Warm dim is still possible, as some very clever LED manufacturers have created chips which warm when they're dimmed, irrespective of the dimming system that's used. This is because the chips have their own passive control on board. Because a driver is looking for a voltage level to determine its output dimming level, any fluctuation in the dimming voltage signal can cause the output instability. Even having a signal wire that's too long or too thin can cause resistance and then voltage drop in the signal. And this could cause a driver to think that a lower level has been requested than it really has been. 0 to 10 or 1 to 10 volt dimming signal wires shouldn't be run next to mains cables either as they can induce electrical interference or noise on the dimming line and this might be visible in the lamp fluctuating up and down. Interestingly too there is not a standardized dimming curve for 0 to 1 to 10 volt systems and so compatibility between drivers needs to be considered to make sure your dimming responses are similar. Analog dimming signal cables are also polarity sensitive so you need to take care when you're connecting them. In conclusion then, 0 to 10 and 1 to 10 volt dimming systems are simple to install, they're usually understood by the majority of installers and are usually low cost. They don't enable individual control of lamps unless separate cables are run for each channel. Dimming curves are non-standardised, cables are polarity sensitive and shouldn't be anywhere near electrical interference. Thank you so so much for watching. I love doing these videos for you and be sure to like, share and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye bye.